let's create our first component. We have here a plain HTML page with standard tags like main or div or header. We're going to create our own custom HTML tag, the hello-world tag. And that will be our component. To create a component, we need to define a TypeScript class. This is just a plain class, but it's annotated with a decorator, at component. This is an Angular 2 specific decorator that informs the framework that this class is actually a component. The first thing that we do is to define to which HTML tag does this component belong to. We do that via the selector attribute. In this case, this means to Angular that any time that it finds the custom tag hello world in an HTML page, it will apply this component. Next, what we define is the template of the component. In this case, it's just a plain input box that says hello world. Any time that Angular finds in an HTML page the hello-world tag, it will apply this input box. And that's it, as simple as that, that's our first component. But it could be any component, Angular doesn't know that this is the entry point of our application. We need to inform Angular of that via the bootstrap function. With it, we will be able to run our application. If we try this out, we can see that our application is working. If we now inspect the HTML, we can see that inside the hello world custom tag, we have the contents of our template, as we would expect. Let's now try to output some data to our page. We're going to define a model object containing a message, hello world. And to output it to our page, we use the double curly brace interpolation syntax, to which we can pass an expression. If we now try this out, we can see that hello world is being outputted successfully. Let's now see the Angular event syntax in action. If we define here an event handler using uh, normal braces and inside the name of the event, in this case, we are going to detect the key up event. And when a key up event occurs, we are going to trigger the update model method. Let's now update the message while the key up event is pressed. For that, we need to pass the value of the input box to update model. For that, let's create a local variable that points to the input box using hash input. Now, using it with input.value, we can pass in the value to update model. Inside update model, we are going to assign the value of the input box to the message variable. If we now type in the input box, we can see that the message is kept in sync with it on each key up event. And this, what we're seeing, is one of the most useful features of Angular 2. Our data model and our view are kept in sync automatically at all times by Angular. We don't have to take care of this synchronization ourselves.